for the avoidance. The minority. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and I want to thank Honorable Lilian Gogo. Honorable Nili will always speak before you whenever she wants. <laughs> uh, though that is discriminatory because the tallest man should be speaking before. But Mr. Speaker, having said that, I want to thank Honorable Lilian Gogo for Honorable Dr. Lilian Gogo for bringing this uh, before the House. And Mr. Speaker, I just want to say that under Article 43 of our Constitution, it provides for the right to health to the highest attainable standard of health care, including reproductive health care. And uh, Mr. Uh, legal framework, a new legal framework that replaces NHIF, and we passed four bills. And Mr. Speaker, I was in the House when those bills were being passed. I was uh, especially opposed to certain parts of that bill, but that is now what under the bridge we have a new legal framework. Mr. Speaker, having listened even to the members, the honorable members as they move, honorable Kimani Chungwa and even the honorable Nikal and the chair of the health committee, one of the things that I can indeed say is that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So it is actually too early to even say, we'd be cheating ourselves to say that here are the benefits. We don't know the benefit yet. If you are an excellent uh, person at monitoring and evaluation, you cannot say within a month that we can see the benefits. So yes, we will uh, probably see the benefits much later. However, we can see photos of people who are in hospitals who are struggling to access healthcare. Those with renal issues, those who are cancer patients, and Mr. Speaker, even though I know Honorable Ichungwa is actually castigating a lot of the members who he says are pushing propaganda, as the or oh, he's saying one. I don't know who that is, uh, since I'm not too sure. But I mean, I'm not very keen on the politics of the mountain. But Mr. Speaker, what I want to say is that we need to acknowledge that there are very serious transition issues over this is the, of, of, over this. And Mr. Speaker, if we lose a life, we can never regain it. I have a very a person who is very close to me who is undergoing cancer treatment right now, and will not receive any treatment unless there's preauthorization of payment. And Mr. Speaker, if me, I'm at the place where I am, maybe because they are able to do that, because we, you know, for different factors we can. But the cries we are getting from our own constituencies, the cries we are getting from ordinary Kenyans, is telling you that there's a huge problem with the transition. And this transition was not done efficiently. What I would want to encourage the chairman of the Committee of Health is one, please do a kamkunji for members of parliament. I am a lawyer and I was here when this was passed. And a lot of us would want to sit here and pretend and, and, that we understand that no. Me, there are a lot of things I don't understand about this. And I pass this law here. What about ordinary Kenyans? Do an urgent kamkunji for members of parliament so they understand what this system, this new system is all about. Number two, we need to actually stop most of the things we are doing in this country so that members of the public understand and know how they can access health care. Because health care should be the most primary you know, right for everybody. Because if I'm already dead, how are you helping me? How, it, how will it be of benefit to me if I'm already dead? You, even if you were to compensate, I will already be dead. So really, I think we need to take this issue more seriously than we are. Let us listen to the cries of Kenyans. If the health system is not working, a lot of the poor people can't access health care system, there is a problem. And uh, Honorable Majority Leader, please listen. Please, the transition is not working well. Please take this and inform whoever needs to be informed that they need to take urgent action. The transition is not working well. Thank you, Lillian, for bringing this. Um, I would request we speak for not more than three minutes so that as many of us as possible contribute. The Honorable Omboko.